Alright, so uh done three videos in this mini series so far. One has been on the uh the S the NT oscillations. The um second one was on the ST oscillations and the third one was on the NF sorry SF oscillations and this last video will be on the NF oscillations. And the examples I'm gonna use for NF are uh, theatrical t uh, television, I guess you could say, just like television shows that are, you know, extended theater productions that are that you recorded. There's not a good name for like a television show that's specifically like about a group of characters, and not like a reality TV show or not a news show or something like that. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what uh, this video is going to be describing. So just like with the last ones, you have like I and F. Uh, you have S N F P, you have E N F, and you have N F J, and I'll just be giving examples of each of those types of shows. So, uh, I N F, you have shows that focus on a single character. That would be like House. That would be like Dexter. That would be like uh, that's enough. I, I mean, I don't know that many television shows, but I'm trying to think. Luther, that's one. Any, it was just like somebody's name. It's an I N F show because it's focused on the singular character as opposed to. A group of characters or two characters. If we go over to NFP, we look at like, okay, we got two characters interacting, it's about their relationship. What shows are like that? You have like Scrubs, uh, Psych, um, Sherlock, if you count Watson, which I guess you should. Uh, that's examples there. You have two people interacting. It's the same thing as, you know, the rest of them, as opposed to like with sports when there's no competition. I guess that's the only difference really. Um, that's because I think T is maybe competition and F is cooperation. So when you overlay that onto extroversion and introversion, maybe it gets a bit more complicated, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, then you have also uh, ENF, which is when you have groups of groups interacting. And that would be like Modern Family, Three Families, Game of Thrones, all the different kingdoms or whatever they are. I've never watched Game of Thrones, so I don't think I will. Uh, it's probably... People don't like that, but that's what it is. Um, also, lastly, uh, NFJ, which is just you have one group. Blackish. It's one family. Grey's Anatomy. One group of medical residents. Um, one more. Quarter shows. That's all I got. Anyway, uh, yeah, those are the examples from shows, from, I guess, TV media of um, INF, NFP, ENF, and NFJ. Uh, so now we've gone through each of the different types of oscillations. And, uh, yeah, and you can use this, these descriptions of things, these descriptions of the oscillations to type yourself, uh, you know, probably based on just your levels of extroversion, introversion, judging and perceiving. I don't think it's really, I don't see anything with quadra. Like for me, like I've already said, like I do a lot of the different types of I. I do a good deal of the different amounts of NT, but I don't really see that much as a beta INT. I don't see that much ESF, for example. I see more NT and more I. But yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching this far. That's all there is for this mini-series. Um, I don't know what I'll be doing next, but it'll be something. Uh, hopefully, I would. Uh, it'd be nice if I could figure out a more discreet delineation between the different uh, clubs, you know, between NT and SF, and then ST and NF. We'll see. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.